you're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> I am so not ready for this. Didn't even plug in my fucking microphone, so welcome back to this shitty sound that I used to have. Let's plug this baby in. Boop! Right, how does that sound? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hyped up because we're back. The Dr. Pepper fucking diner is back, but new rules. Why did I kind of stop doing these videos? Because what new can I add to movies, you know? What can new can I add to some movies? All arguments have been made. Every single movie has already been reviewed. But somehow, you guys still want to hear my opinion on every fucking movie, so we're back. But the rule is, I can only review movies which I have an unpopular opinion on. That's right. Only unpopular opinions, which is why I'm starting with Dracula 2000 because I fucking love this movie and it seems like not everyone agrees with that. So let's pop open our good old friend Dr. Pepper. There we go. Cheers, motherfuckers. Cheers. Wonderful, just wonderful. So today we're reviewing Patrick Lucier's Dracula 2000. Now, the movie is directed by Patrick Lucier. However, every single poster says Wes Craven presents. So when I got into this film, I was like, that's pretty cool. I would love to see Wes Craven's take on a Dracula film. And then it said directed by Patrick Lucier. And I was like, oh, all right. I guess <laughs> it's not by Wes Craven then. He just produced it or something. I do love the whole marketing of this movie. Like, he had these posters that just look like they're made for a Scream movie. Um, which I just love. It came out in that time period when you had all of those movies that kind of tried to copy Scream just to be uh, hip and trendy. Which, because of that, this movie is definitely a product of its time. And just in general, you know, you got virgin records everywhere. Uh, which is funny to see. Um, especially for me, it wasn't even born back then. Uh... So to me, the fact that it's a product of its time is only a good thing because you know, I love to see all of this old shit that I never got to see in, in real life myself. Uh, it's like with books or VHS tapes. When VHS tapes or paperbacks are really damaged, I really like that for some reason because it just shows its time and its age, which is why I love this movie so much. I love that it's a product of its time. The soundtrack is fucking amazing. It's phenomenal. It also just goes to show you that it's a product of its time because nowadays they would never do a metal soundtrack and they used to do this back in the day. And I fucking love it. <laughs> Actually, I acquired a copy of it because I was like, I gotta have this on CD. Um, you know, you got Power Man 5000, Disturb, fucking... Fucking Slayer! You got System of a Down on there too. I was prepared for this review. Yeah. I am so not ready for this. Sorta. Of. Merlin Manson, Linkin Park, Pantera, Static X, and then some other... Half cocked? Cock? So, some other bands I've never heard of. But yeah, it's a good fucking soundtrack. I especially love Bloodline by Slayer. Just fits the movie super well. And actually, a long period of time, I was like, I don't really like vampire movies. Like, there's something about the concept of a vampire that I just don't really like. But I was thinking about it. I I can only really think of three vampire movies that I've seen, which is this one, and I, <laughs> I fucking love it. Uh, Bordello of Blood, which I also reviewed and also love. And Fright Night, which is like in my top five movies of all time. So. I've actually found out that I quite enjoy uh, vampire movies now. I should check out more. Uh, there are some uh, cheesy slow motion effects too, which also just screams early 2000s. But like I said, I fucking love that. Now one scene is really cool. There's this guy filming this news reporter and all of a sudden there's this cut on her neck and you're just, you're just wondering, WHAT IS GOING ON? But then you get the view outside of the camera and all of a sudden, Dracula's there, or a vampire. Is, is that Dracula? I don't know. And I actually thought that was really cool. Like, I, you know, it's one of those things you can't see Dracula through a mirror, and apparently you can't see him through a camera either. So yeah, I just love that. Why do I keep doing this stupid shit? So yeah, those are my overall thoughts on Dracula 2000. Uh, I have not seen the sequels yet, but I heard those were pretty bad. But then again, I also heard this movie was bad, and... 
I fucking love it. Who knows, maybe I'll go check those out and if I like them, I'll definitely review them on the Dr. Pepper Dr. On the Dr. Pepper Diner. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. See ya. You're a piece of